Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration. Today's episode is primarily removing a pulley and the chiming ch timing chain cover. All right, I'm showing this mini manual for a reason. This is this is the one documentation that I have uh, among, of course, with the six hour difference between here and the UK, which is where most of my knowledge base is. Um, I can't always reach out to people in UK because of the six hour difference. I'm usually working on my car when, when the UK folk are dreaming, right? Sleeping. Um, so this is what I have. Now this Keynes manual says that it's good for 1969 to 2001. So I assume that it covered my engine. The question was asked to me, um, did I have the right Haynes manual? And I assume that this is the one that I need. My engine came out of a 1992 mini or ish, 1992 ish. I don't know the exact date and there's reasons for that, but, um, Real quick, a lesson that I learned, and this is why I'm showing this manual, is when you're as new as I am at all things engine related, and I'm getting into some new stuff right now, um, and so I don't know what things are called. I don't know the nomenclature of all these parts. Therefore, when I go to search in the, in the Haynes manual, like how to remove this or that, I don't know freaking what it's called, and so it, I, I find it very hard finding stuff in here. Um, sometimes, in fact, yesterday this happened, I was following a section that wasn't exactly right. Uh, and I, and I questioned it as I was doing it on the engine, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not there. That's not there. Um, but I got the job done. Um, I don't think no harm done. Um, and then there's one or two pictures in here that was like, what the heck is that? I couldn't make out what the picture was showing. So the Hage manual is the best I have. Uh, but again, uh, being the new guy, sometimes it's, it's lacking information and you still have to figure it out. You know, once you get the thing apart, then you're like, oh, that's what that was, or oh, that's where this goes. Uh, but in the, in the process of doing it, sometimes it's, it's a little slow. For that reason, I am doing everything in very small bite size. Like today, I'm just removing a pulley, um, a, uh, uh, timing chain cover you know tomorrow or later in the day i will do another video where i remove the whole timing chain kind of as, as an assembly hopefully anyhow uh let me crack on all right so the first thing i'm going to do is take off the fan uh, these are 7 16 bolts Next, I'm going to take. I'm going to attempt to take this pulley off. I know this is going to spin the crankshaft, which is goes through the other side. There's no bolt on the other side. However, hopefully, with the impact wrench, I'll be able to break it free. Hot dog. All right. So that bad boy came off with the impact gun relatively easy. Okay, the uh, water pump appears to be held on with one, two, three, four bolts. These two look like they're half inch, and these two are seven sixteenths. Oh, look at all that roster, corrode, crud, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Holy moly. All right, for this pulley that was here, I got a little bit overzealous. I had to borrow a tool from a local automotive store to get this off because I didn't have a puller and I wanted to return it um same day so i didn't even bother setting up the camera but what i did just so that i have a frame of reference 
with the puller on, I used this, the, the crank or this bolt that was there, but I loosened it up quite a bit so that it just caught the, the first two or three threads. Then I used a three jaw puller pushed against this bolt and it pulled it out just enough, allowing me to get two screwdrivers in from either side. And that, that's part of the Haynes manual. You get two screwdrivers in there and try to pry it off evenly and it came right off. I mean, it just, it popped right off. The puller pulled it out just enough and then the screwdrivers pulled it the rest of the way. It was kind of a straightforward um, process. So I've got to order a, tr a puller though. So now I'm going to remove the timing cover. And what I found out is all of, several of these bolts, well, one, two, three, are half inch. This bad boy is a three-eighths. Why, why? That's the first three-eighths I've, I've seen. And then all of these guys are a five millimeter hex head. So, yeah, these are going to have to be done manually. I believe that's everything on this guy. I'm just going to have a look around to see. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else, so this should. Maybe I need to pry it off a little bit. There we go. Oh, and oil is dripping. But, all right, look at that bad boy. Timing chain. All right, as you can see, uh, timing chain cover is now off. Pulley, fan, all of that is now gone. So I'm left with the timing chain assembly, which that's my next task. But I am done, one bite at a time, and I'll get there. All right, thanks for checking in. Bye just now.